And this is the result. We can see on the serial monitor ADC voltage and direction values. Welcome back to Miliom with only one L YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to use this analog wind direction sensor. This is a Chinese wind direction sensor. Sometimes it's just really hard to get the datasheet or we can read the datasheet in Chinese. So here's the label on the sensor. I don't read Chinese but I think this mean operating voltage or voltage input is 12 to 24 volt and this is the output so the output is 0 to 5 volt so it got a connector here let's just plug the cable into the sensor and turn the connector several times The cable's output has three wires. As we can guess, it is VCC, ground, and analog output. From the color, we can guess that red for VCC, black for ground, and yellow is the output. So here's the wiring diagram. Now just connect the power cables to the 12 to 24 volt power source. I use the 12 volt power source and connect the analog output to the analog input of Arduino I use the analog zero And don't forget, you should connect the ground of power supply to the Arduino too, so they will share the common ground. Once the wiring is completed, now head to Arduino IDE. We will start by using an example sketch of Arduino IDE called Analog Read Serial. The result of this reading is ADC. So I will give it the formula to get the voltage by multiplying the ADC value by 5 and dividing it by 1023 and print the voltage to serial. Now I get the ADC and voltage from the sensor. I will try to rotate the sensor and see the reading.
Now we can see that the voltage is changing according to where the sensor head. We can also convert the ADC or the voltage value to a direction degree by mapping the value. So I map the ADC value from 0 to 1023 to 0 to 360 degrees. And then print all the values to the serial monitor. Wait, before we continue the video, you can make me really happy by subscribing to this channel and tap the bell so you won't miss new video from me. Now on the serial monitor, we can also see the direction degree. Now we are able to read the direction from the sensor. So I think this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe because more videos are on the way.